Long before cell phone videos turned everyone into citizen journalists, a bunch of young idealists called the Video Freaks captured political and social upheaval on newly available portable video cameras. It was the late 60s and they used their guerrilla style footage to offer alternative viewpoints to that of the mainstream media. Would you, would you please move on? Hey, I'm still in there. You know, I've been in Vietnam. I've been there. I got shot, man. They left me for dead, man. I give my life for you. For you. Now, a documentary, Here Come the Video Freaks, has been released, charting their story. <laughs> wow. The founders, David Court, Mary Curtis Ratcliffe and Parry Teasdale, met while interviewing the crowds at Woodstock in 1969. Parents of the past generation have done a job. And the kids know it. I know it's running. I know it's running. Then, a short time later, they were recruited by CBS News to cover the nation's counterculture movement. Many issues were taken on, including abortion. We want to have control over our own bodies and our own destinies. That includes, of course, abortion on demand. And the anti-war protests of 1971, in which 10,000 people were arrested including Davidson Gigliotti of the Video Freaks. The Video Freaks also interviewed Black Panther leader Fred Hampton shortly before his death in a police raid in 1969. <laughs> Jenny Raskin, who co-directed the film with John Neelan, lauded the group as pioneers. They spent years restoring about 100 tapes from more than 1,000 that were in varying states of disrepair. Eventually, CBS pulled the plug on the video freaks, and between 1971 and 1978, they lived and worked on a farm in upstate New York, where they launched the nation's first pirate TV station. Lanesville TV is back on the air. Along with the film's release, an exhibition called Video Freaks, The Art of Guerrilla Television is showing at the Samuel Dorsky Museum of Art at the State University of New York. Is there any tape left?